All right, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the elder GMS, peace and blessing to the Akim, that out there laboring truth and sincerity, man. This is the brother Yakanan coming at you with a, another lesson. This lesson here is solely based around this government shutdown. Also, the elites ushering in a Catholic society, man. And this, and this is what presented today as of February the 8th, man. You know, the government shutdown is looming. The people are the people that's in the know or give a damn about this society, they are in fear. The other copper tops, drones, mark mains they have down here, they don't care, man. They you know, and I'm speaking for my state, the state that I so called state that I live in. These people out here jumping and hooping and hollering for Mardi Gras beads and you know, laughing, talking, barbecuing and bullshitting out here in the streets as we speak. But you go to Philly, these people up here for over a bullshit Super Bowl game, and, and they, they Eagles, they doing uh, sit-ups or pull-ups off the goddamn stoplight, hollering and hooping, hollering on the street, man. And this is this is presented to the people, showing you they they feed the people with bread and circus, bullshit, man. When this is right up under their nose, you know, and this is going to us open. Basically, ultimately, usher in what we know as the mark of the beast, man, the RFID chip. And going back four months ago in the keynote speech that uh, Donald Trump gave, he said he's gonna shut, he's gonna bring forth a a government shutdown and and, and uh, do a reset. Basically, man, and that reset is gonna usher in the mark of the beast. They're gonna they're gonna present you people with another currency, man. This has also happened today. The Dow plummets 1,033 points and sinks into correction, man. But the average, the average uh, so-called American, they don't know what's going on, man. Especially you, you Israelites out here. You don't know what's going on. You know, a person can ask you about these these certain topics right here. Yet you don't you don't know what what's going on, man. You don't have a clue. To the things to come, and you know, and it, it's, it's sad, but we know the Most High had you in that state, man. The Most High has you Americans in a delusion, man. You 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 delusional, okay? And this is the first scripture I want to start off with is Jeremiah fifty one and eight. It says, "Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain. If she if she if so be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon." But she is not healed. Forsake her. And I'm, I'm bringing that scripture out to show you. When Monkey Boy was in office, Barack Obama had at least three that I know of government shutdowns that was that was looming. You know, and now we have this is what two in a, oh, this is the second one in the last past week. Showing you this place is not healed. You 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 healing you you putting ointment on a deep. A deep wound, man. This place is not healed. This place is gonna it's gonna fall, man. You cannot heal a deep a gashing wound with goddamn some type of little ointment, man. To try to clean it or some shit. You gotta you gotta sew that thing up. You gotta go fix fix the problem, man. And the problem is never gonna be fixed here, man. You we this people these people don't understand that they're <laughs> over. They're in twenty trillion dollar. Twenty trillion dollars of debt, man. Okay, twenty trillion, and they think they're gonna pull out the hole, man. Let me finish it out though. It says we will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let and let us go, every one into his own country. For for her judgment reaches unto the heavens, and is lifted up even to the skies. You know, and we know that. You know all of wickedness. This place has uh, perpetuated in the planet Earth. All of this uh, wickedness they have uh, done to the children of Israel, man, has reached to the Most High. Now the Most High is uh, is turning turning up the heat on this place, man. And it's just the start of the, the so-called new year. It's just the start of things to come, man. You know, because you don't understand the plans. Of the Most High, you don't you don't understand the plans 
of these uh, elite banking families, man. The 13 uh, banking families, starting with the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, on down, man. Their plan is to bring forth a cash society, man. To crash this, to crash this dollar. And to enslave you people, man. It's none. It's none more than a greater asset on the planet Earth is to have human cattle, slaves, man. And they're gonna brand and market you people with the RFID chip, just as they do cattle on any farm here in America or on the planet Earth, man. You brand your property, man. And that's what they're gonna do you. Uh, let me go to this scripture here while I'm thinking about it. This is uh Psalms. This is Psalms 10 and 7. It says, His mouth is full of cursings and deceit and fraud. And that's what he has done with the stock market, man. With this American dollar. He has given you fraud and deceit. That you people think that you have real money in your pockets, man. That you have a real uh future here in America, man. And you don't. We keep going. It says. His tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in lurking places of the villages. In the secret places do he murder the innocent. His eyes is privately set against the poor. You know, and that's what that's what the plans of the elites are. Really to make all you people poor. They're gonna they're gonna take out this uh this class they call so called middle class. And it's gonna go it's gonna gonna be two classes, really one. It's them as the elites and you as the poor. You know, the more the the middle class is gonna be deemed as the poor class now. You know, you gotta be at least making forty to fifty thousand just to even get by here in America as we speak, man. You making seventeen, twenty, twenty five thousand dollars a year, man. You you poor, man. Really now it's forty hey man, it is what it is, okay? It just is what it is, man. And you people gonna have to suck it up. And deal with it, man. You're going to suck it up and deal with it, man. Because you're going to be humble in these upcoming days, man. A lot of you people are going to be humble and slap with reality. Hard as fuck. And I'm getting blunt, man. We're dealing with, we're dealing with some copper tops, man. People that want to play and bullshit all day, man. When he, this, this, when martial law... When uh, Jacob's trouble, and ultimately, man, the day of the Lord is presented before you, man, as we speak, man. This thing is finna go down. Yeah, but I wanted to also, man, you know, go to, uh, I think it's right here, Proverbs. Proverbs uh, 22 and 7. It says, the rich rule it over the poor, and the borrower... It's 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 sub it's slogging. Excuse me. Let me read that over. It says the the rich rule it over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender, man. And that's what we see. And all you people are the borrowers, man. The lender is the elites. And ultimately, they have lended to the to the you Americans for years and years and years, and have you have accumulated over. Twenty trillion dollars of debt, you can't pay back pay back that debt. So what they gonna do? They gonna enslave you people, man. They gonna round you up in the time of martial law and and and, and put you to work for bread and water. They gonna they gonna brand you, okay? Cause you are deemed as their property, man. If you don't think so, pull out your pull out your uh, your social security number, man. Go find out how your your uh. Your social security number is traded on the stock market. Okay, you a slave. You a slave here, man. And you people gonna find out you Americans. I'm talking about you, you blue blooded, red blooded, patriotic, eagle, eagle flying, American flag toting ass white people. You're gonna find out too, man. Even you bobblehead niggas here, man. You're gonna find out what time of day it is, man. Let me keep going, man. Cause this man, this man ultimately, man, has got you as a servant, and he's the lender. And he, and he, 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 you know, he got the interest rates and the, and the money to put you straight in debt, man. 
The, 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 and this man has the power to belly up this bitch. Which is he going to do? He's gonna They're going to foreclose on America, man, with you in it, man. You know? And this is going to be, you know, I'm going to get it. This is going to be the new, uh, new currency, man. It's RFID chip. Don't listen to what them niggas telling you, man. This is, uh... Revelation 13 and 16, and it says he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. And it says, and he in that no man may buy it or sell, save he that has the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And that's what it, that's, that's the end game. That's what was told even to this guy that was uh uh once amongst them. Aaron Russo, the end game is the chip. The end game at the end of the day is to crash this bitch, man. To bring forth this this uh, RFID chip, man. And we looking for it to happen so the most I can pull a skirt and pull a, the rug from running this goddamn man, man. Why you niggas out here bullshitting? Why you niggas out here, you know, stuck in La La Land, man, on Gullah Gullah Island, man? I can't, man, I can't stand you niggas, man. You know, we trying to get out of this place, man. And you niggas are trying to prolong it, man. We see this place is falling, the walls, the pillars, everything is falling around this, man. But yet you niggas want to save this, this goddamn cracker, man. That's why you niggas going to die with him, you know. Let me finish it out with this one, man. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. It says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And we seen them tremble, man. 1,000 points here, 700 points here. And the dial keep on falling and falling. The keepers of the house, they're trembling, man. The men, that, the men that's on stock, that holds what the scripture called the uh, the uh, the Mactesh, meaning the Wall Street, these people are trembling, man. They're ready to blow their brains out. The people that's in the note, that, uh, that, pays, that pays attention to the different uh, stock market and the formulas of this thing, or what they call it, uh, the different the different signs and uh things they look for for the stock market they trembling man the people that has uh what i want to say the people that basically has interest or assets invested in the stock market 401k these people are trembling because they're losing millions and thousands of dollars man you know it says in the strong and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinding the grinders cease because they are few, and those that, and though they look out of their windows, be darkened. Meaning, the, they look out their windows and it's darkened, meaning there's no future, man. The grinding cease is talking about work. Because Jake said that all the time, man. I'm on my grind, homie. I'm on my grind this, I'm on my grind that. It ain't going to be no more grinding, man. Everybody's going to be brought to a, a lower state. Everybody is going to be, everybody's going to be on an even playing field, as they say, as we say, man. You're going to find out <clears throat> what's the main agenda of the elite, you know, the elite bankers that rule and run this place, man. You're going to find out the agenda of the one we call Yahweh Bashin Shai, man, for this place and for you niggas, man. Okay? Playtime is over.